It's really weird. I, the British invaded India, you know this, right? Through the East India Company, they came in. And I realized we have the Punjab, we have the, uh, the region of the Punjab, the Punjabis, they're soldiers, they defend their country, they're aggressive people, and they've done a good job. But I really feel the solution for India's defense is not an army or armed forces or aggression. All we need to do is have an entire stretch of Punjabi along the border. Just standing there without guns, nothing, no armor, just stand there, get them to open their mouth and speak English. <laughs> no country, well, especially the British attack over land, they would never have come in. Then I ask you to put your arms down and let the British army in. Punjabs. You want us coming here? <laughs> or the air? Here? Or the air? What is he drink, Clive? I don't understand. So he seems to be making some random noises. No, no. Here? Or the air? And the British are like, get away from here. It looks like evolution hasn't reached this continent. Hello, hello, anyway. Yeah. Come here. So, it's, it's, <laughs> that actually what happened, right? But Indians, man, we've got to love ourselves and fucking laugh at ourselves. Because I think Indians aren't the most aggressive people. Are we aggressive? Because see, we are learning from our mistakes. Because our first, now we've become a hub of outsourcing and I think it might not be the best thing, but it's also done some good. But the thing is, our first exposure to outsourcing went a little wrong. Because that project lasted about 250 years. <laughs> I mean, there's one British guy like, hello Indian chap. I've got past the head in there. I'm here now. And I got a project for you. What is this project? Is it like uh, C++, B++, AD, something? Like no, it's actually called uh, colonialism, C++, yes. It's, and you're like, well, okay, how long will you be here for? You've got some great engineers. We'll come in and then we'll see about leaving. That's why now we're so strict with our American counterparts, right? Like, wait, 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 your project's only three months. And here's a deal. You get one American, you have five Indians, go back. Oh, fuck you. We'll learn to the British. It's not working. Because the British are smart. And this British guy actually said this to me. He said, oi, you fucking Indian. I was like, no, okay, cool, yeah, okay. I'm the only one here. <laughs> because it's not the case. It's weird. Because the British might have been aggressive. And the British came through the East India Company to India, and they invaded us and ruled us by a thing called divide and rule. Remember this thing? They used this thing called divide and rule. And I realized, as a lovely lover of India, as a person proud of his home, I realized we Indians can never invade a country. This is not because we've never invaded a white country. Because it's not because we don't dislike white people. It's just that we love the color of their skin a lot more. <laughs> like if we were ever in a situation confronting a white army with swords, not hair in the air, white people, Indians, you'd be like, I will blast it so fucking. It's so nice your skin is here. <laughs> how, did you, how did you get this? No, you don't have to tell me. Please, please. And the British guy is like, you realize I'm going to kill you. He bothered his wife, but give me no secret. <laughs> because why? Because the Indians can, we can never invade a country. We can never divide and rule a country. Because I realize we Indians can never divide and rule. But we can multiply and annoy. <laughs> that is our strategy for world domination. <laughs> We will never invade a country, storm into your house, break down the door and move in. But we will move next door to you and hang our chutneys on your compound wall. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Mountbatten, I'm your neighbor, Mrs. Patel. Came <laughs> church today. What's up, you know?